Welcome, so today we're going to go over how to create and host your own static website using Firebase to get a, a simple website up and running and accessible via URL. This is just a working example, it's just a basic website with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. And we'll integrate the Firebase tools uh, along with us just to get the deployment process down. Uh, the one prerequisite is just to have Node.js on your machine. Other than that, I think you should be good to go. So let's uh, get started. First thing we're going to do is go into Firebase. So if you just go to Google and type in Firebase, it should bring up or bring up the Firebase console here. You'll see that it just has a welcome to Firebase and you can create your own project. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And so for the uh, unique identifier that's right below the project name, you can see here, uh, this will be used for like the subdomain. So the URL. So if you want to modify that, uh, you can go ahead and do that and then accept. And we're just doing the basics, so we're just not going to enable that. But uh... okay, so after the project is created, you'll see here that we just have this uh, dashboard for the project overview. Uh, what we're going to be doing is going to the build here in the hosting. So we'll hit get started and once we come here uh, you can see that it's asking us to install the firebase tools with a node so what we're going to do is jump back to our code editor uh, and get started on that side of things uh, what we're going to do first is install a http server in order to run this locally just to make sure that it's uh, running properly so what we're going to do is npm i dash g and then uh, http server and this will allow us to just run this uh, project locally. And as you can see here, that uh, this HTTP server has started. So when you run this HTTP server, you're going to have to be within like the root, so the index.html file. So since we're in this already, we're just going to do HTTP server. And you can see here that it's going to be available on these. Uh, just to make sure that it's uh, running properly, this is how you can get to that right there. So oh, that's working. You can go ahead and uh, stop that from running. The next thing we'll do is come back into the Firebase hosting and copy this command they have, which is just installing the Firebase tools globally. So back in the terminal, we'll come in, hit this npm install Firebase tools. Or we'll come back in, hit the npm install g Firebase tools. Once that is done, let's hit next. And then what we'll have to do next is log in and initialize the project. And as you can see here, just a basic index.html file, uh, nothing special. And then we'll bring up the console, so control shift and squiggly. And then here we'll copy that command that was given to us from Firebase. So here we'll copy the Firebase login. And one note with this is, and one note with this is that uh, when you hit the Firebase login, it's going to bring up your uh, whichever browser you had most recently open. So if you're logging into like a specific Chrome profile, I would recommend uh, opening that one before you run this command. Hit Firebase login. Do I'm going to say no to this, but feel free to say yes. And as you can see, it just pops up the uh, the Chrome browser. We'll just log in there. Continue. Just allow. Woohoo. Woohoo. I'm back in here. And as you can see, the login was successful. So the next piece we'll do is go back in uh, Firebase Init now. We'll hit yes. And so we're just doing the basics just to get this running. Uh, so we'll come down to hosting, configure files. We'll hit the spacebar to select and then enter to proceed. And then we're going to be using an existing project since we just created that uh, in the Firebase console. We'll hit enter. And then you can see the project here is the one we created. Enter again. And then it says, what do you want to use as your public directory? Since we already have the source uh, folder set up with our index.html, we're going to use that. Let's type in source here. It says configure as a single page app. Uh, we're just hitting no since we already have uh, the index.html. It's just a very basic uh, setup. And hit no again. And we're going to not overwrite it. Okay, so as you can see now, we have the new Firebase uh, files in JSON. All right, so one step closer. So let's go back into the console. We'll hit the next. 
And then as you can see, it says you're ready to deploy. So we'll copy this last command here. With that last command copied, let's just paste that in again. Hit Firebase Deploy. As you can see, the Firebase deployment is completed. We'll come into the we'll come into this uh, name that I mentioned earlier in the creation process. And the only thing that was added on is the .web .app, uh, there. So we'll copy. Okay, and now we're in the accessible uh, URL here, and you can see that the example project we put together is available. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, that was pretty quick and easy. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the chat. Uh, as you can see, that was pretty quick and easy. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And then if you want to go into any more detail of the site we have here, which is a little more in depth, where we have like the custom DNS and a little more uh, detail to it, uh, feel free to, uh, again, leave a comment. Running as quickly as possible just to get our video title accurate. So let's start. Let's go there. Go ahead and disable that and create project. While we're in here, we're just going to go back to the code editor. Let's copy in this basic template. Folder, source. Go ahead and create a new file for index. And basic in. Speed room. All right, let's go back to here. All right, so the project is ready. Here, we'll come in into the build and hosting. Let's get started there. We got the Firebase tools already, so we'll skip that. Let the Firebase login. We're in the terminal here, so Firebase login. Let's go back here, Firebase submit. Uh, nope. Okay, we'll log in. Right, go back here. Let's go in it. Yes. For this, we'll jump down to just to the hosting, configure files, space, enter existing projects since we just created that. Uh, for the public, we'll go source. Hit no, no, no. Okay, with all that done, we'll just last step Firebase deploy. All right, so here we'll hit next, continue console. Let's pop up that website. All right, we're done. And so here is deployed successfully. So yeah, uh, we can deploy a website within a hundred seconds. Let's say.